The Congress party has released its election manifesto weeks ahead of phase one of polling a nationwide caste census, legal guarantee for MSP, stable personal tax rates, 50% government jobs for women are some of the promises. Abhimanyu Sharma joins us now. Abhimanyu, take us through some of the key highlights from the manifesto. P. Chidambaram, the former finance minister, presented the manifesto along with Sonia Gandhi, Rahul Gandhi, Malikarjan Kharge and KC Venugopal of the Congress party. Uh, what were some of the big takeaways and what's their answer to the BJP over the last 10 years? Uh, well, they have uh, accu well, they've accused the BJP of ruining the economic state of India. That That's the accusation which repeatedly has been levelled by the Congress party, uh, something which is reflected even in the manifesto, which is, which is an interesting mix of several new demands, several uh, uh, new uh, promises which are being made by the Congress party, apart from the old promises which were a part of the UPA policy-making uh, regime. Uh, now, if, if, we, if we speak about uh, the, the promises which have been made, they have, uh, they have said that there would be a farm loan waiver for the farmers, which would be a relief for them. Uh, they have also uh, promised uh, a legal guarantee for the minimum support price for crops for farmers. They have also said uh, that they are going to simplify the personal income tax regime and they are going to remove the angel tax uh, in order uh, to boost uh, the, econ the economic uh, growth in India. Uh, as far as other issues are concerned, they are also uh, saying that uh, they, they are promising uh, that they would grant the legal status uh, to civil unions of the LGBTQIA community they are also promising 50% reservation for women in government jobs by 2025. Uh, th they are saying uh, that the, uh, the promise includes uh, an increase in reservation for several communities and removal of the 50% cap which currently exists on reservations which are being granted under the scheme of the Indian Constitution. Several other new promises uh, as well as old promises have been made by them which uh, also includes interestingly uh, removal of the Agnipat scheme for recruitment in the armed forces, uh, which was repeatedly being opposed by the Congress party and other opposition parties. Uh, so a huge list of promises be, uh, which have been laid out by the Congress, apart from accusations which have been leveled thick and fast, not just today, but even in the past. The broad theme of the manifesto is justice. Every aspect of justice has been threatened, weakened, diminished, and in some cases, denied in the last 10 years, especially in the last five years. India got made a decision that we are fighting with ideological choices. After the choices, who will be the leader, who will be the prime minister, who will be the whole thing. जो कोलिशन है वो मिलकर डिसाइड करेगा। We now joined by Ashpreet Khadiyal, Congress spokesperson, and also Anuja Kapoor, spokesperson of the BJP. Anuja Kapoor, uh, the Congress there has set the war cry very clear, saying that this is a fight between those who want to destroy the constitution or democracy versus those who are trying to protect the constitution. How do you see? the Nyay Patra of the Congress party today, which also interestingly says and promises 50% of central government jobs for women starting 2025. Jai Shri Ram, good evening, uh, Parikshit and to my panelists and to viewers. I would just start with saying, Parikshit, this is a new package with expired products. They have been a party of 139 years old party and they have ruled India for 55 to 60 years. And they could not bring this manifesto and they could not do the justice before. Are you trying to fool the people around? You're trying to show that the dependent Bharat versus the independent Bharat, that is Atmanirbhar Bharat, the Vixit Bharat, the Sistak Bharat, the inclusive Bharat. What are you? Where do you, Congress and your India line stands? What census are you talking about, the caste census? The major caste census which was used to be rolled was happening in your era. Where were you? You were sleeping for 11 years. So you, what did you do during that period when Mandal Commission came up? For 11 months, you were not doing anything. Why? Because it was that, that time there was a, a, a rally was about to come up. 
after you signing it and you did not want to open it up the janta dal so i didn't really want to understand where were you standing throughout what, what woman reservation are you talking where is priyanka gandhi where is priyanka gandhi how many people are there with you on the women panel and how many are you talking about on the ground when you talk about uh, in your rajasthan in himachal how much you have what have you done with the supriya shrinte what she has done with the women what what coach she put around and then she say sorry on the twitter for kangana ranaut ha huh? i i don't understand but your hema, hema mali has okay. been abused all right you talk about your people how much okay. do nyay for your own people first the one in your party sanjay nirupam talk to him first all right anuja kapoor let, let, me in, let me get in let me get a word so, from so ashpreet khadeal of the congress party around. right now ashpreet ashpreet now let me specifically ask you about the issues related to reservation you're talking about a 50% reservation of central government jobs for women starting 2025 also pledging to introduce a constitutional amendment to increase current 50% cap on reservations for SC ST and OBC now rather than reservation uh, why not think about increasing economic opportunities for women uh, opportunities to rise from the bottom all the way to the boardrooms what about uh, increasing opportunities for all walks of life across schools colleges educationals and the private sector see number one these opportunities are only possible if there will be reservation for women in central government jobs for example now the bhartiya janata party uh, is a very good very relevant example when it comes to discriminating against women discriminating against minorities i want to ask the bhartiya janata party how many uh, women uh, mps do they have how many women ministers do they have and how many muslim uh, ministers do they have how many mps mlas do they have from minorities and the bhartiya janata party would really uh, you know uh, we have been asking these questions of the bhartiya janata party and rarely have we had an answer from them because they are accustomed to discriminating accustomed to doing injustice towards india their injustice has been happening from the last 10 years towards the yuva towards the kisan towards the nari towards all sectors of the country therefore the nyay patra the congress party had to bring is to counter the injustice to give nyay to the kisan of the country to the yuva of the country to the women of the country mm. and therefore the bhartiya janata party you know is mm. awaiting was awaiting it was desperate for a manifesto to come so that they could copy paste it. that is what they have been doing all along you see 30 mm. schemes that the congress party brought back right. in the day they were refurbished reimplemented i'll just take 10 Ashpreet. more seconds 10 more seconds to conclude please so 30 schemes were copied by the bhartiya janata party of the congress and then reimplemented number 1 number 2 i had suggest to the bhartiya janata party that you have seen what our promises are you see what we intend to do but what you do is just copy and paste the 2014 manifesto of the bhartiya janata party because nothing has still been delivered two crore jobs are here doubling of farmers income dec- okay. decreasing of the diesel Ashpreet, what i wanted to understand what will be the total fiscal outflow as a result of the manifesto that you're speaking about Uh, a legal guarantee for msp a mahalakshmi scheme to provide 1 lakh per year to every poor indian family uh filling up of government vacancies reservation of jobs 400 uh, rupees as the minimum wage uh, what will be the total fiscal outgo as a result of all these measures that the congress is announcing as per its manifesto has there been any calculation any figure given to that see number 1 Uh, the calculations the analysis has been done and i'll tell you this thing in one line which will sum it all up paise ki kami nahi hai there's no dearth of funds mansha ki kami hai bhartiya janata party mein there's a lack in there's a dearth of intention will in the bhartiya janata party therefore they have not been able to do anything that they promised in 2014 so manifesto number 2 what the congress intends to do is is one has been highlighted by you and i'll highlight it further one the vv pat counting will be happening we will ensure that the statehood to jammu and kashmir is, is restored we will ensure that agni path is abolished we will ensure that uh, poor families in india are given 1 lakh rupees per year under the mahalakshmi scheme we have we will ensure right to apprenticeship we will ensure a farm loan waiver we will ensure msp we will ensure that the leaders that have jumped ship and you know gone into okay. the bhartiya janata party i'll give an example also there are people who have tried to escape the law the clashes right. of justice law by going to the bhartiya janata party they will also be probed and one last thing 
the caste census that the Bharatiya Janata Party has been against, has been fighting tooth and nail. We hmm. will do that once we come into power. In the hmm. nafrat ki dukaan that we have shot in Karnataka, okay. Telangana. Uh, let, me to get into, the, let me go across to Anuja country. once again. Anuja, two points that I immediately pick up. Actually, three. One, increase of minimum daily wage to 400 rupees, even under Mandrega. Then, legal guarantee for MSP, something that the farmers are still protesting about. Thirdly, scrapping of the Agnipat scheme. Now, farmers are a big community. When it comes to the Agnipat scheme, there were both pros and cons within the uh, veterans community. There were very veterans who felt that this was not the right way to go for the Indian forces, for the Indian armed forces. Now, this is a big community, a big vote pamp. Uh, does that uh, somehow worry you? And uh, will the BGP now have to uh, do some more homework, more analysis on how to woo these categories of voters in the election? It's a very interesting when Congress uh, tries to, you know, eat their own cake. I do not see the, the manifesto which they have brought up. They say that we are going to walk the talk. I think it is very much evident, if you see in Karnataka, 40,000 crores they had to set it aside because somebody said some freebies. I don't understand, sir. You talk about the freebies. You talk about the things which cannot be done. That is what Kharge also said. We have taken the advice of the eminent people that what we can do, we will put in our manifesto. Sir, you have never done it that. What you have been doing, the farmers you are talking about, the, the women you are talking about, the youth you are talking about, the Dalits you are talking about. It is nothing. The Dalit OBCs and all, whoever has been there, you have not never appreciated them. You have never stood by them. Never stood with the Adivasis. You have seen the example of Draupadi Murmuru. You have seen uh, uh, COVID sub at, at the, our president throughout. And you have seen how they have been treated. You know, you know, Sitaram Casey. You know, you know how things have been in, in, in their own time. I, I fail to believe whom are they trying to highlight. The youth are with us. The Agnivir you are talking about. That, that thing has already been set up by the court. The court has already talked about it. The Supreme Court has already talked about it, that why this was being brought up and how this cannot be implemented with everyone. So this is already, this was been given for the army stuff and where they, they would like to recruit, they would be recruiting for now, but they gave lakhs of to the people who left after that, the Agni Veers. So what are they talking? Many women, Agni Veers have also come up. In Indian Army, we are also, we have brought up women. Have you seen the Kartavya uh, right. uh, uh, Republic Day? So what are you what are they talking about? Oh, it's okay. I I, I understand. It is like EVM pa Parikshit. Have you seen? It is very interesting. When have you seen okay. that? Did they talk about the EVM? And now Anuja the Kapoor. EVM is uh, they say they want to ban EVM. Now they want to bring that election through EVM only, and they want to compare with the BVA pact. So what is this? They All speak right, uh, Anuja Kapoor. We've something. completely run out of time. Okay, I get your point. We'll have to leave it there for the moment. Thank you very much for joining us on the program. Anuja Kapoor, Arshpreet Khadial. But clearly there will be a big fight over wooing poor farmers, women and youth in this election. Uh, the Congress is speaking about Hisse Darinyai. The BJP is talking about Sabka Saat, Sabka Vikas. Uh, let's see what happens uh, in elections 2024. With that, it's a wrap on this edition of Business 360. More news and updates when we return.